going to do is move this atom from this location here to a location right over here. We'll move it just along this path here. Now you got to get excited about that. You just got to get excited about that. In 1989, a group of scientists led by Don Eigler astounded the world by using just a few atoms, 35 in all, to spell out IBM. The simple demonstration of moving atoms would become an icon for nanotechnology. Moving atoms might seem easy, but what looked simple was not. Atoms are really small, measuring less than a nanometer across. How big is a nanometer? There are a billion nanometers in one meter. That means that about a half a million atoms can fit across the width of a hair. All things are made of atoms. The real challenge of moving individual atoms is that everyday objects are so big compared to an atom. So how did Eigler move an atom? With a very special instrument called a scanning probe microscope. It is not like a regular microscope, but sees using a tiny needle as a probe. This special needle is used to feel the contours of the surface, and if you are careful, you can see atoms. Even more exciting is that a scanning probe microscope can also be used to move atoms one at a time. Eigler also needed to have a special kind of atom that could be moved with his microscope needle, so he chose an element called xenon. Xenon is a gas at room temperature, but when you cool it down, it turns solid. At the nanoscale, atoms are in constant motion. Not only are atoms small, but they are constantly moving. To keep the atoms from moving around, they needed to keep things cold. How cold? Almost absolute zero. That is minus 450 degrees Fahrenheit. It was a very special experience to be able to tell an atom that you wanted to go from here to there and stop at the place where you wanted it to end up. It took them almost a whole day to move those 35 atoms. And what happened when they got done? They took a picture and went home after a long day at work moving a few atoms. At the nanoscale, scientists have fun. Give me the sound, give me the sound, give me the sound.